my impression of David Attenborough. Here we see upon two ducks, male and female. I'm guessing they're a couple. Well, actually, no more lakes. So, what we are looking for is a big puddle. <laughs> Let's go. But there again, it's been warm today. Mm, I, I can't see it happening inside. There's that man that has killed us. No, it killed us. Excuse down. me, do you know if there's a <laughs> pond around here? <laughs> no, I'm Thank you for your help. Oh, excuse me, can I just ask you if you know of any ponds around this local area? You don't? <laughs> okay, so do you know any large puddles or indeed lakes around this particular area where you may find ducks? Hmm. You don't. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time and goodbye. Excuse me! Yes, you there! Could, could, you, could I just ask you a few questions? Hello, I'm Jim Wheelhouse, BBC News. <laughs> Do you know of any ponds around this local area? Is it near? Yeah. Is it the park? Yeah. No. Sorry, mate, but... Oh, thank, th bah. thank you. Bah. Thank you for your time. Here we have a tree. I'm going to ask this tree a few questions. Now, tree, you look a bit sturdy, guy. And you've been here a long time, I'm guessing. Nobody ponds. That's no. Okay, and big little lake in the general area. Where? Look, my colleague was great. No. Well, thank you for your time, too. I never So the question is. Why was there ducks in here? And where have they gone now? Tune in next time on Pondle.